This is Captain's Log with your host, Captain Mark Gray. Welcome aboard. If you own a boat or you're thinking of buying one, there are people and organizations ready, able, and willing to teach you safe boating, and in some cases for free. Next, our guest is Mr. John White of the, of the United States Coast Guard Auxiliary. Could you tell us something about your boating experience, a brief history, sir? Well, I, uh, of course, I'm retired Navy. I did 20 years of active duty in the Navy, but I have been very active with the Coast Guard Auxiliary since, well, the past 33 years now, uh, doing all types of work, teaching, uh, teach boating classes mm -hmm. for the Coast Guard Auxiliary, search and rescue work with my boat. Uh, I presently have a radio station in my home that is a backup station to the Coast Guard station at Channel Islands Harbor. Uh, I also stand radio watches down there at the uh, station to help out. The Coast Guard station. The Coast right. Guard station at Channel Island, yes. All right, that's quite an extensive history in boating. It's, it's kind of like some people are born with a silver spoon in their mouth. You must have been born in a boat. <laughs> well, uh, if I didn't like it, I wouldn't do it. That's, that's, that's what, what I find. What it amounts to. Boating's enjoyable, especially if you can make it safe and happy. Could you tell us something about the history of the Coast Guard Auxiliary? Well, actually the Coast Guard Auxiliary started as a temporary reserve during World War II. And uh, after the war was over, it switched over from temporary reserve to Coast Guard Auxiliary. And it's been growing ever since. Matter of fact, we have more people in the Coast Guard Auxiliary than they have in the active Coast Guard. Right. What, do the, what is the function of the Coast Guard Auxiliary? Um, I'm sure you have several different things that you do. Well, basically, the job of the Coast Guard Auxiliary is to promote boating safety. However, uh, we teach uh, boating safety courses. We inspect boats at the owner's request. Could you tell us about that, uh, what that inspection entails? Well, for, uh, for a new person that just bought a boat, you know, uh, what's entailed there? Well, it's a, it's a uh, form that we go through at, again, and it must be at the owner's request. And there is no penalty. I'd like to make sure that's understood. There is no penalty. If we find that, uh, let's say, for example, he is missing a fire extinguisher, we tell him about it, and we just don't present them with the safety decal for their boat. They get a fire extinguisher, then we can do it. But they don't get a but ticket or anything uh, like No, that. if the Coast Guard, regular Coast Guard does it, yes, there would then be a citation. A mm -hmm. But ours is a liaison job to between the boater and the Coast Guard. Mm -hmm. And, and uh, on, on top of these examinations, uh, what other functions do you do? Or, I understand well, you have boats that go out and have something to do with helping boaters when they're in trouble? Yes, we have. We maintain uh, our own private vessels as uh, Coast Guard auxiliary vessels, and they must have a qualified crew aboard uh, of auxiliarists. And we do go out uh, on search and rescue work uh, as assigned by, <coughs> excuse me, by the uh, Coast Guard. So they'll tell you that a boat's missing in yes. Santa Cruz Island, and would you please assist? Yes. How many boats do you have here locally in Channel Islands that, that are in that? Well, uh, right at the moment, about, oh, I would say 15. Mm -hmm. That's quite a few. Yes. It gives, you know, it's nice to have a few extra hands. Oh, yeah. I think I've seen them out there where you do wear your life jackets when you're working in official capacity, and you also have signs that you put up on the boat. Yes. Right? So it's, it's really uh, nice for the other boaters to know that, hey, let's stay out, the out only, of these guys' way. The only time that boat is qualified to have that sign on there uh, is he under cut orders. In other words, <coughs> excuse me, a member of the Coast Guard Auxiliary on official patrol, a cut order patrol, is actually a Coast Guard vessel. And should anything happen to that vessel, or the expenses of that vessel for that day are picked up by the Coast Guard. So their gas is paid by the yes. Coast Guard, and should the vessel, because a lot of emergencies do happen in bad weather, yes. should the vessel 
be sunk or break up or have problems, then the Coast Guard covers that. Yes. Which is, that's pretty nice to know for some boaters out there that might want to get in touch with the auxiliary yeah. that have a boat and wouldn't mind lending their expertise and services to a worthwhile cause. Um, what other functions does the auxiliary handle other than education, the boating, and then the inspection? Well, we also have uh, aircraft, auxiliary aircraft. Membership in the auxiliary is based on, first of all, you must be a citizen 17 years of age or older. Uh, yeah, you must own 25% of a boat, amateur radio station, aircraft, or have some other special qualifications, such as a doctor uh, or a scuba diver, that type of thing that we can use uh, in the process of doing our job for so the Coast Guard. an average person without a boat and without a ham station perhaps couldn't join because... Uh, yes, she could. If he had, uh, for example, as I say, if he was a scuba diver, mm -hmm. uh, a doctor, and right offhand, I can't think of others, but, but I know there are A lot are of people others. don't think that their skill can be applied, but even secretaries or anything, yeah, you know, right. I'm, I'm sure that you can find a place for them. Absolutely, <laughs> because their, the ratio has changed just recently, but the ratio used to be, uh, you had to have four crewmen aboard. Mm -hmm. Well, you've got one boat owner, the rest of them are crewmen, where are you going to get them? So you, you need other members, right. People that are not boat owners mm -hmm. as well, yeah. Right. Do you have uh, women in the Coast Guard? Yeah, absolutely. Auxiliary? Women, uh, Coast Guard Auxiliary is an equal opportunity <laughs> employer, yeah. <laughs> well, what we'll be doing after the break, we'll be going into the different types of education that the Coast Guard Auxiliary offers and the free boating classes versus if you join an advanced education, what have you. Uh, but briefly, could you just touch on the topic areas gone over in your classes? In the boating class, well, it is in a, about a minute. You know, it is a basic overview. boating class, and we start with uh, really the basics of it: uh, rules of the road, age to navigation, engine, uh, navigation charts and compass, uh, the locks and dams. In some cases, they such we don't, as in Florida where they have yeah, the we don't teach it here because waterway. there are no locks and dams. Yeah. But, but someone might travel to Florida, yes. so you have the minor, you know, you have some information yes. on that. Well, the book that we use to teach with is published by the Coast Guard and is used nationwide, the same book. So mm -hmm. and we are instructing everybody in the same manner. Well, we're going to really get into these classes when we come back after the break.